These are two types of venison burgers that I made last night. And um, one of the things that makes venison a very challenging meat is that it's inherently dry. So I'm gonna show you how I made it juicier and balanced out the gamey flavor. So let's get going with the ingredients. First things first, uh, for the side I use plantains. These are not bananas, plantains are harder in consistency and when you cook them, they actually taste somewhat like a potato. Olive oil and kosher salt, and uh, again, alternatively, you can use sea salt if you'd like. Prosciutto, and I'm not talking deli prosciutto, I'm talking a little bit thicker slice prosciutto. You want to use dates. Breadcrumbs. A good white cheese. I like to use Monterey. You can use white cheddar if you'd like. But I found Monterey works best with the venison I'm making. And of course, lettuce leaves. So the first thing I did was to take a look at the prosciutto and I cut it into smaller pieces. I asked the person at the deli to cut it into quarter inch uh, slices for me and then I took it home and I want to slice it in pieces because it's going to be incorporated into the venison. This is going to do two things. First, it's going to balance the gamey flavor. Second, it's going to add to the juiciness of the burger. So that is the consistency that you're looking for and what you want to do after you cut it is I put it in a bowl and I'm going to go ahead and use that to mix it in with other ingredients that I'm going to go over with after this short break. So dates are also going to balance out the gaminess of the venison but more importantly they're going to add to the juiciness of venison. Like I said earlier, inherently venison is a very dry meat, so you wanna add some components to make it juicier and to balance it out, so that's what I'm doing here. Basically, you take your dates, you take out the seeds, you can use your hand to do it, it's not a very hard process. And basically, once you take all the seeds out, what you wanna do is take a knife and you're gonna be slicing the dates into smaller pieces. They don't have to be super fine necessarily, but they do have to be small because I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate this into the ground venison in a few minutes. So I'm pretty much done, so I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate this into the prosciutto. This is ground venison that I put in here. I got it from a good supplier. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some olive oil. You don't need to add eggs to this. You can if you want, I don't, it's not necessary. I put some breadcrumbs to basically put it all together. Now comes the messy or fun part, depending on your point of view, but uh, I found using your hands to mix it is the best thing to do. So you wanna mix it in so it's all very well put together. The dates, the prosciutto, the breadcrumbs, and of course the venison meat and uh, it's not too hard of a process, it is a messy process, but uh, nevertheless, once you're done, you're gonna be making some patties with this. There's many techniques to make a patty. Typically what I found is using my hands, 
works the best. Now you're gonna notice something interesting, the date pieces and the prosciutto are a little bit, they look kind of big, but it works really well with this type of burger. Next step is I'm gonna go ahead and cut the plantain and basically when you cut it and you peel it, you're gonna find a hard part. Some parts of it might be a little brown. They, those parts actually taste a little bitter. So what I found is when I take off the peel, it's best to cut away those brown parts to take away from the bitterness. And then what I do typically is um, cut it into slices. Something, a little warning, so one plantain might not look like enough, but it's actually very dense, so it's enough for three people. So I just wanted to let you know. As far as cooking, just uh, put oil in a pan, and you put the plantains on it. And basically the goal is to brown them on both sides. It's gonna taste somewhat like a potato, maybe a little bit sweeter potato, definitely doesn't taste like a traditional banana I'm gonna tell you that right now and like I said it's a very dense fruit so a little goes a long way I like to add some black pepper and as you can see here this is the finished product that's basically what you're aiming for I think this one maybe I made a little bit too brown but it tasted really good nonetheless so you want to put it to the side save it and uh, let's get on to making those venison burgers. I put them on the grill. And what I found is uh, by putting a little bit of olive oil on top, it's going to make it um, taste even better. So let's close the lid and let the grill do the work. So I made two burgers, so I made three and I put cheese on one and that's the finished product so it tasted really good it was a very well balanced meat very juicy for being venison and I highly recommend you try it please hit the like and subscribe button thanks so much for coming I will see you on the next episode